Hello everyone. Uh, in this lecture, we will discuss about the bit manipulation. This is uh, actually the extension of the videos that we are record. We are actually discussing about the competitive coding. Uh, for understanding the bit manipulation, we must first understand how the numbers are represented in the memory. Suppose we have declared a statement like integer x. That means that two bytes will be reserved in the memory. Two bytes means 16 bits. Out of these 16 bits, 15 bit is for the numbers and 1 bit is for the sign. If you have a declaration of kind integer x equals to 30, meaning that the value of x uh, or the data value of x is 30 or x has been initialized to 30, the binary equivalent of 30 will be 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 16 plus 8, 24, plus 4, 28, plus 2, 30. So the binary equivalent of this number 30 is this one and if you apply the, the leading zeros the number will remain same so 30 is represented in 15 bits and since the number is positive the sign bit is 0 now if the number is negative the sign bit will become 1 let us try to find out what is the largest number that can be accommodated this in this x or what is the largest number that can be stored in an integer variable. So for the largest number, all the bits should be 1. Fine. All the 15 bits should be 1. Then only the number would be largest one. Now if you know that uh, <coughs> the largest number of 2 bits will be 1, 1. That means 3. That means 2 square minus 1. Largest number of 3 bits will be 1, 1, 1, means 7, means 2 cube minus 1. Largest number of 4 bits will be 1, 1, 1, 1, means 15, means 2 raised to the power 4 minus 1. The largest number of 5 bits will be 1, 1, 1, 1, meaning that 31. This actually is 2 raised to the power 5 minus 1. Similarly, largest number of 15 bits will be 2 raised to the power 15 minus 1. Fine. This is the largest number that can be represented using a integer variable. Now, what will be the smallest number? Obviously, it will be 0. If there are all zeros in the number, this will be the smallest number. So, the positive number that can be represented through this integer variable is 0 to 2 raised to the power 15 minus 1. Suppose the numbers which can be represented are 0 to 7 only. These numbers are actually 8 in total. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. There are total 8 numbers. So if there are if, if the number is ranging from 0 to 2 raised to the power 15 minus 1, total numbers are 2 raised to the power 15. The total different numbers which can be represented are 2 raised to the power 15. So by keeping this sign bit as 0, total 2 raised to the power 15 positive number can be represented. The same number of negative numbers can also be represented. Now you must be knowing that the smallest integer variable which is possible to represent is minus 1. Okay, so if the counting is starting from minus 1, the next number will be minus 2, next will be minus 3 and so on and so forth. Since total 2 raised to the power 15 negative numbers have to be there, so the smallest negative number is minus 2 raised to the power 15. We have already found out that uh, the largest positive number is 2 raised to the power 15 minus 1. So range of the integer numbers which can be represented is minus 2 raised to the power 15 to 2 raised to the power 15 minus 1. Okay. In the first year you must have studied about that the range of integer number is minus 3 to 7, 6, 8 to plus 3 to 7, 6, 7. So this actually is this one, minus 2 raised to the power 15 is 3, 2, 7, 6, 8. 2 raised to the power 15 minus 1 is obviously 3, 2, 7, 6, 7. So the range of the integer number is this one. Now, having understood about uh, how the numbers are represented in the memory, let us now look what are the bad bitwise operations possible. The way we have the arithmetic operators, logical operators, relational operators, we have the bitwise operators also. So those bitwise operators are AND, 
or XOR which is exclusive or not left shift and right shift so let us first understand about the and let's say we have two numbers 7 and 21 and we are applying an and between them so what will actually happen that 7 will be represented in binary as this leading zeros and 21 will be represented 16 plus 5 that means 1 0 1 sorry, 1 0 0 1 1 with the leading zeros now if you apply and operation in between these two so you must be understanding about the logic of and if both the numbers are 1 then only the answer is 1 if any of the number is 0 the answer will be 0 so 1 and 1 bitwise operations means the fifth the last bit will, will get an and with the last bit so 1 1 1 and 1 means 1 and the second last will be ended with the second last one or the second number so 1 ended with 1 is 1 1 and with 0 is 0 0 and with 0 is 0 obviously here will be 0 so 0 and with this one will also be 0 and before this there are all zeros so this will be 0 so answer is 3 why 3 because this binary number is representing the decimal number 3 similarly we can perform the OR operation if we are doing 7 or 21 so the representation of 7 is 1 1 1 0 0 and then tra lead trailing zero leading zeros now <coughs> for 21 it is 1 1 0 0 1 and then leading zeros applying the or operation 1 or with 1 is 1 1 or with or is 1 1 or with 0 is 1 0 or with 0 is 0 0 or with 1 is 1 and then the 0 or with 0 is 0 and so on so forth 0 <coughs> so the number that we have observed is this one so what this actually will be 16 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 that means 23 so the answer is 23 now if we do the XOR operation of these two <coughs> so what does the XOR say if the bits are different the logic of XOR is if the bits are same the answer is this is let's say a this is b and this is a x or b so if the bits are same the answer is 0 if the bits are different the answer is 1 if the bits are same the answer will be 0 so this is the x or option so if you apply the same for 7 and 21 the 7 is represented as 1 1 1 with the leading zeros and this 21 <coughs> is represented at this 1 1 0 0 1 if you apply the XOR operation same bit 0 same bits 0 different bits answer is 1 different uh, same bits answer is 0 different bits answer is 1 same bit 0 and here will be 0 and 0 means the same bits so this is the answer what does this actually represent 16 plus 4 that is 20 1 2 4 16 okay, fine so answer is 20 now about the not since we are let's say we are writing not of 7 so not of 7 means 7 is represented by 0 and with the leading zeros and the not of 7 will give you 1s will be replaced by 0 and zeros will be replaced by 1 fine so you must be knowing that if we have all 1s 
this actually represents 2 raised to the power 15 minus 1. Okay, meaning that 3, 2, 7, 6, 7. So if we have all the ones except these three bits, so the value position of these three bits can be subtracted from 3, 2, 7, 6, 7 and we can find out the answer of this. So this actually is representing 1, 2 and 4. These have the weights 1, 2 and 4. 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7. So if we subtract 7 from here, so we are getting 3, 2, 7, 6, 0 and this actually is the answer for not of 7. Right? Now the left shift operation. Suppose we have a number 7 and we are saying that left shift 1 bit. What does this mean? Let's say the 7 number is kept on a table. If you apply a gentle push towards the left, one of the bit on the table will be drop down. And here we will have one less bit. So we are applying the less bit on the, uh, just to balance the number, we are applying that uh, dropped bit here at the LSV, that is least significant bit. So the number now becomes 1110 with the trailing zeros, leading zeros. So this number is actually representing 8 plus 4 plus 2, that means 14. Right. If you are applying, let's say, 7, left shift, 3. So the number 7 is represented like this. If you are applying the left shift, so 3 bits will be dropped down. So just to balance the number, we can apply 3 zeros on the left hand side, on the least significant bit sides. So the number here has become is 8 plus 16 plus 32 means that the number is now changed to 16, uh, 40 plus 15, 40 plus 16, that is 56. Now what about the right shift? Similar is the right shift also. If you are applying 7, right shift 1. So what will happen? 7 is represented like this. And we apply a gentle push, one of the bit on the right hand side will drop down. And just to balance the number means this bit will be dropped down. To balance the number, a bit 0 is added on the left hand side. This number is 3. Fine. If you are doing, let's say, 7, right shift, 3 bits. So what will happen that all the 3 bits of the 7 on the right hand side means the least significant bit 1 will be dropped down. Again, 1 bit shift, least significant bit 1 will be dropped down. Again, a right shift, meaning that least significant bit 1 will be dropped down. So we will remain with all zeros. To balance the numbers, we will have three zeros on the left hand side. So 7 right shift 3 makes the number as 0. Thank you.